let's do a sample problem using these things and see what we can come in. Let's do one using central angles. Uh, first of all, let's come over here. And here's our drawing. I think you'll recognize that uh, this is on in the packet that you have in front of you. Um, here's our drawing. Okay, best circle I could draw. Look at it, and that's what we're given. Okay, so we're given that the measure of angle TCU, da 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 da, or frogs, TCU is equal to 60 degrees. So we put that in there. We're also given that the measure of angle RCS equals 45 degrees. And we're given this little box here, and what does that mean? That's right, that means that measure of angle SCQ is 90 degrees. Okay? So let's go over here and real quickly, let's uh, take care of that one. Number three, it says find the measure of SCQ. Well, we know that that is simply 90 degrees. Okay? Now then, what else do we know? We know that the measure of angle RCU, okay, we know measure of angle RCU equals what? Well, RCU is a diameter because it's a cord that goes through the center. So this has to equal 180 degrees. That will help us out, right? Okay, we also know that the measure of angle RCQ is going to equal what? Well, this angle is, is 90, this is 45, so that this one has to be 45 degrees. So there's some other things that we know that perhaps we can use to help us out here. Okay, now let's look at SCT. On number one, we need to find the angle SCT right here. Okay? Well, what do we know? RCU is 180. We know 45, and we know 60. So if we take 180 minus 45 minus 60, somebody help us out. What do we get? 180 minus 60 is 120. 120 minus 45 would be what? I think that's 75, so this will equal 75 degrees. Now I'm going to go ahead and write that on here, 75 degrees. Okay? Now, let's look at, find the measure of SCU. Well, the measure of SCU is just simply going to be the measure of SCT plus the measure of TCU. Angle addition postulate, so we've got 75 plus 60 equals, add those two together, so that's 135, so this here would be 135 degrees. Okay, number three we've already found because we, uh, this is basically that was given to us. The last one we'll do is QCT. Well, QCT, we know that SCQ is 90, so this whole thing is 90. We know that SCT is 75, so QCT is 90 plus 75, so down here we're looking at 90 plus 75, add those two together, what do you get? Not to come very close to 165, so we're looking at measure that angle being equal to 165 degrees, okay? So this is a way that we would work with central angles, you know, write down what you're given then write down what we know from what we're given. All your diameter is going to be 180 degrees. Well, that will help you find angles. Write down what we know here simply with this. It seemed, seemed like we did not need to know. We did not need to use that you know, in any particular fashion. But, you know, 45 plus 45 plus 75 uh, would be the same thing. Okay? And then look at what you have and then go from there and... Uh, that's a sample doing, we're looking at central angles. Okay, let's talk about uh, arcs. Okay, uh, I think you'll recognize that we have this too. First of all, let's go over here and talk about our, our, our drawing. Here we have
have circle. This is what? What's the name of this circle? Named by its center. So this is circle O. It's a little crazy and silly, but you know, that's what we call it. It's circle O. Alright, one reason not to name circles O. Okay? And we're told here that given that the measure of angle BOA is 44 degrees. So we know that this right here is 44 degrees. Well, if we know that is 44 degrees, what else do we know? Okay? What do we know about these two angles? What type of angles are they? Okay? Opposite angles, not adjacent angles of intersecting lines, intersecting segments. Okay? They haven't changed property simply because they're inside of a circle. They're still vertical angles, so this has got to be 44 degrees, right? Okay? What do we know about angle BOD? Okay, so we know, okay, let's go ahead and put this down here. Measure of angle COD equals 44. What do we know about the measure of angle BOD? Well, that's a diameter, so that has to equal 180 degrees. Okay? Regardless of how we do it. Okay? Angle. Alright? BOD, regardless of which way we go. Well, what do we know about measure of angle AOD? AOC, I mean. Equals 180 degrees. Okay? Alright. So let's go from there, all right? Um, what else? Can we come up with anything else right now? Can we come up with these angles? How about the measure of angle BOC? BOC? Okay, can we calculate the measure of BOC? Measure of BOC, we know this is 180 minus 44. So we could come up with that. Uh, so, measure of angle BOC equals 180 minus 44 equals, somebody want to do that for us? 180 minus 44, uh, what is that? 136, okay, 136. So that equals 136. Well, if this equals 136, then what's this over here? Oh, they're vertical angles, aren't they? Then the measure of AOD, okay, measure of angle AOD equals 136. Okay? So we're, we can find out a lot of different things. Let's rewrite this so it makes, it makes a little more sense over here. Uh, measure of angle BOC equals 180 minus 44 equals 136. Okay? And then we know this one over here also equals 136 degrees. Because they're vertical angles. AOD equals 136. So those are all kinds of things that we know about this thing already. So let's go over here and see if we can find out some things about arcs. Now, as we're looking at these arcs, notice how we say it, measure, okay, we're talking about the degrees, not the lengths of those arcs. So what do we know about minor arcs? Any minor arcs are less than 180 degrees. So minor arcs are, one of the properties is, they're equal to the measure of their central angle. So arc BA, what is its central angle? It's 44. So this equals 44 degrees. Well, how about BC? Well, BC, we've come over here and we've said, wow, angle BOC is... 
136 degrees. Is that a minor arc? Say 136 less than, yes, it is. So therefore, arc BC that starts at B, comes around to C, is 136 degrees. How about CD? Well, CD, this angle over here, COD, is vertical angle to BOA. It's 44, so the minor arc CD has to equal its central angle. So that's 44 degrees. Okay, now let's look at ACB. Start at A, come all the way around, go through C, and end at B. The end points are the beginning and the end. Okay, the first and the last. So it starts at A, ends in B, but it has to go through C. Alright, this starts at B and ends at A, doesn't go through anything. Okay? This starts at A and goes, through, goes to B, but it has to go through C. So that is a major arc, isn't it? Well, what do we have to do? That would be, what's the property say? Measure of a major arc is 360 minus its minor arc. What's the minor arc? The minor arc is 44. So this equals 360 minus 44 equals... What do we got? 360 minus 44. Oh, yeah. What do we got? I think it's 316. Correct me if I'm wrong, please. All right. Okay. Now, let's go over here. BCD, arc BCD. Start at B, end at D, and go through C. Well, we've already said that. Angle BOD is 180. Doesn't matter what side of the thing we're on. BOD is a semicircle. This is a semicircle. Okay, coming on this side over here. Notice we want this part of the semicircle. So we add those two together, we get 180. So this is 136 plus. Well, we don't even have to do that because we've already said what that angle is. So that's just 180 degrees. Why? Because that describes a semicircle. Now let's go over here to AD. Arc AD. Starts at A and goes to D. I've already said that central angle. AOD is 136, so this is going to be 136. Okay? It's working with arcs.